I don't want any more of that stuff happening. Oh no. <laughs> Hello everyone and welcome back to the channel guys. Today we're actually going to be starting a brand new series on the channel guys. I've never done it before but I've wanted to do it for a very long time. It is indeed the T20 World Cup in Cricket Captain 2020 but not with any odd side with the associate sides because if you look on the Steam page of achievements, guys, for the game, you will indeed see, I'm just going to bring it up, win the T20 over World Cup scenario beyond all odds, which is you have won the T20 World Cup scenario with Ireland, Afghanistan, Netherlands, Oman, Scotland, or Hong Kong. So with that in mind... We are going to be playing as an associate country, guys, and I've decided we're going to go with the Netherlands. We're going to go with the Netherlands at first. We're going to try and win the T20 World Cup, guys. And I'll tell you what, guys, I'm telling you right now, it is very unlikely it's going to happen first time. It's probably going to take a very, very large amount of sample sizes. We're going to probably have a few tournaments in a row, guys. So we're just going to get straight into it. Give it a good crack. And we're going to learn a lot along the way about trying to play with an associate side. Now, of course, the game selects a squad for me. And I don't really feel like I should have any need to change people out if I've got zero information right now. So I don't think we're missing out on anyone too drastic. Not that I can see anyway. Let's just go and see if we can find some others out there. It doesn't look like it. Maybe Klas, Klasan, Klassen. We've seen him around. And Van Mikarin. Maybe. Maybe. We'll, we'll stick with the same squad for now, guys. And then we can always come back and change things as we see fit. So, we're going in with this side. We're going to try it. We're going we're gonna to see if we can win the T20 World Cup, guys, with the Netherlands. It's probably going to be unlikely to happen, as I said, guys. But we have to give it a try. Because I think it could be an interesting uh, development in the, as a, almost as a career mode, guys, as we try and try several times to try and beat this game. Because this is probably the ultimate, really, beating uh, this game with associates. With the associates cricketers trying to beat Australia, <laughs> India, and so forth. So this is the World Cup in 2020 that we're doing. So it's actually in this year, but obviously... I think the next game they'll correct it and it will be uh, as of uh, 2021, but that's okay. It doesn't really make too much of a difference. Either way, okay, so we are playing in the T20 World Cup. There's two pools. Uh, Netherlands is playing with Bangladesh, Namibia, and Scotland, while uh, the other pool has Ireland, Sri Lanka, Papua New Guinea, and Oman. And Papua New Guinea actually bit Oman. Sri Lanka bit Ireland by eight runs. I mean, that's a close one there. So the real competition in our pool, guys, is probably Scotland and Bangladesh. Mainly Bangladesh. Bangladesh are expected. Wait, is it top two? It's actually top two. Okay, so therefore we can actually sneak in as well. We're, we're trying to sneak in above Namibia and Scotland at this point. Because then we move on to the Super 12. Oh, they add two. This Okay, I thought it was only one. I think previously it was one, now it's two. Previously it was only one, now it's two teams move on to the Super 12, because it used to be the Super 10, I think. But now it's the Super 12. So, with that in mind, we've actually got a shot to make the Super 12 a lot uh, a lot easier now, let's say that. We're going to go... I mean, I'm not going to lie, the, the Edwards and Myberg are actually better. So I'm going to go with Edwards. Because his stats are better, but I mean, I don't think that means anything really, but... We will find... Well, it does, obviously, but I don't know if the game rates them better or worse or whatever, so you don't know. We've got a lot of all-rounders here, so I'm going to take out... Okay, yeah, well, this is a solid-looking side, considering it's uh, Netherlands. I mean, I definitely don't under not rate the Netherlands. They've got some uh, quality cricketers out there, especially Tim Discarda and such, so who knows in the upcoming World Cup. But for now... We are going to have to try and win with these guys. Okay, so we're going to start with that. So we're just going to go. We're playing Scotland. And Scotland have Steele and Jones making their debuts. And six openers <laughs> in their lineup. And then all bowlers. 
Josh Davey, Watt, Wheel, Main, and Sheriff. Okay, no all-rounders at all. We've got six bowlers. They've got five. So they're guaranteed to bowl all five of those. Whereas we can definitely switch things up. We've won the toss here. It looks good to bat. But I kind of feel like we should try and bowl first and chase what they have to offer. So that's what we're going to do. All right, here we are, guys. The first... First game with the Netherlands in this career mode. And again, guys, we are going to try as many times as we can to try and lift this T20 World Cup, guys. It's going to happen, but it might take 50-odd tries. But we're going to try it, guys, 100%. So, our first over, and it's just two runs. Malik is a genius, apparently. And so is Van de Guten, because, well, Van Guten, because that is brilliant. Okay, well, we're going to go again. Netherlands are on fire. And it's a wicket as well. Steel. Scott Steele on debut. Goes for one of four. Malik strikes. And wowee. What a start for Netherlands against Scotland. That is an edge. But it could be six, you know. Oh, no. One bounce four. I love the fact that they've got a white sight screen for the white ball. Making it pretty hard to see, I imagine. Anyway. Van de Guten. To Munzee, he's pulled that away, and that's four. Malik is on absolute fire. Do we want to keep him going? No, we're going to change him out. Glover into the attack. Oh, that's a beauty. Oh, that's six. No doubt about that one. That is a six. That is four as well. Okay, they're going uh, pretty decent now. Uh, let's bring on one over a spin. Let's go Ackerman. I know Ackerman took a six for once. Or maybe a seven. Oh, that's a six, though. Was it seven? Oh, we'll find out later anyway, guys. Uh, in English domestic cricket, he took, like, seven for, like, nothing in one T20 game, and it was pretty interesting. Okay, so 42 for one after the power play. Not a bad start. This could definitely have been better, but Van de Guten and Malik were great. Ackerman and Glover, not so much. Rippon is going to come into the attack. To Munzee. That's four, though. That's even a six. There you go. It's actually a six. Okay, let's spread the field out. Uh, Van der Merv. Give Van der Merv a go. To, to, to McCloyd. And that's four. 59 for one. That's well bowled. All right, guys, I've created a field for the for the, for the lads because I feel like we're going to have to have a proper proper setup here if we're going to win against anyone. That's uh, LBW not out. So I've got three, all, three out on the leg side, I think two out in the off. And that is six, nice and fine. And that kind of breaks my field, but hey, that's okay. Okay, so we're going to go... Rippin's gone at 10 and over. Not great. So yeah, I did, I've actually made a couple of fields before, guys, to try and help the spinners in T20s. That's brilliant. Good over. Just need to sneak through a couple of a quality overs. There we go. Okay, that's, again, that's fine. They're probably... They're not displeased with this either, but we're not exactly displeased yet either. Oh, that's a good shot. Now we'll beat... Mid off. Wait. Oh, is that 50? It's 50 for Callum McCloyd. That is his eighth in T20 National 50. Rip it. Bowling to McCloyd now. That's well bowled. It's probably a bad matchup because it's spinning in. Oh, how is that not out? Impact must just be outside the line there. And another appeal, but not out. Rippin is making things happen. Oh, no. Until he bowls a full toss and it goes for four. It was a good over in the end. He's actually finished with an okay spell. It wasn't the best, but I tell you what. Could have been much worse. Especially with the way it started. Oh, dear. Yeah, that, that, <laughs> that deserved to go, that one. Oh, it just beats the fielder for four. Gutted. Disappointed. Okay. 
Lavo's going to get field here. And he's bowled well. Six off the over. And it is now basically time for the death. Colin, Colin Ackerman's going to have to make one more up. Or not. Glover can probably make it up. So we can go to the death. Okay. We're going to Van de Guten first. Okay. Here we go. 118 for one here, Scotland. They're pretty good, but that's an edged on a no ball, though. And it's straight and it's four. Edged. Fine leg. Can't get there because it's six. Far out. It's not going to plan at all, guys, at the moment. Going to make sure Malik bowls because he's bowled exceptional here. He's the only one who's really bowled re very, very well. Oh, my goodness. Nearly gets three. It's the only... Oh, he's only taken one, sorry, but... Yeah, he gets two. What are we doing with a slip in place? I don't know, he's dropped it! Oh, no! Oh, he's used it for four. You kidding me? I don't know why the, the, the field reverted there, but anyway. Nearly worked, but it was a drop catch, which kind of sums up the day so far for Netherlands. It's an edge and he's gone. Malik finally strikes again. Malik to Jones. And gone! First ball, can he get a hat-trick? To finish the innings off. Oh. No, he can't. It's a direct hit, but he's in. Malik, what a genius he was getting three wickets there. Absolute beauty. Three for 20. Everyone else really struggled. Van der Guten bowled pretty okay until that last sort of over. Well, he should have had a wicket, to be fair. Should have had a wicket. But no. Bangladesh. Well, they had a similar sort of score against Namibia. Now the Netherlands is going to need 164. Okay, let's see if we can chase it down. Oh, Max O'Dowd. Boom, four. Edwards, no run. That's a four. Uh, 8.1 needed per over. O'Dowd gets a full toss. Hits it for six. Don't see you. Don't mind seeing that. That is outside the line somehow. Eight and over needed. Okay, Scott Edwards has completely screwed it up. 8.4 needed. That is a swing and a miss. That is a 6. Over oh, point. 8.4 needed. Not out of the equation yet. That's 4. Should be the 8 needed. And that's 4 more as well. 8.2 needed per over. Max O'Dowd on fire right now. 41 without loss. Make that 45. What a shot from Max O'Dowd. 35 of 20. Maxi goes high, but the fielder won't get there. It's gone for four. Edwards needs to get going. Here's 14 off 19. Needs to get out or head out is the right word. And Max O'Dowd, he's just on fire tonight. Edwards, <laughs> he can't hit it off the block. Max O'Dowd, 48 off 27 right now. There we go. Edwards gets something out of the middle, and it goes for four. Straight. Six. Against Sheriff. And he's got him though. Sheriff gets uh, Edwards for 25 of 26. Is it time to bring in 10 Descartes or one more? One more. Tommy Cooper's going to come to the crease. Can't waste too much time though. He pulls it fine for four. Good stuff there. 7.7 .7 near per over. Uh, keep going. Max O'Dowd, 79 for one. Netherlands. It's in the gap. That's four. And that's 50 to Max O'Dowd. Well played. He has played exceptionally well here. Could be a run out though. Could be a run out. He's going. Oh, he just gets home. He just gets home. Tommy Cooper. Down the ground. It beats mid on for four. Nine off the over. Oh, you ripper. It's four. We're in control of the chase. 92 for one at halfway. We're definitely in control here. But we need to stay in control. And Max O'Dowd's gone. He's bold. That's the one thing I didn't really think would would go our way. And it and it hasn't. I thought he, if he got bold, it would change the game. And he has got bold. And it has changed the game. Eight and over needed now. 100 for two, though. 
and gone. Ben Cooper's gone for four off nine. Ten to Scarter to the crease. He's the man we need to do well here. Averaging 44. Boom! That is out of here. Wow, catch you later. Shot. Ten to Scarter hits a four. Oh, he's gone though. He's gone for 11 off seven. That is a big moment in this match. Netherlands still have a lot of work to do here. Oh, that's a good shot from Tommy Cooper. Edged and gone, though. He goes for 24 or 14. And all of a sudden, it is well and truly Netherlands in trouble, needing 45 here. Rippin hits a full toss. It goes for six. And edges off. Oh, no. We just got back the run rate under control, and he's edged off. That could be four, and it is to Vandermeer. That's another four to Vandermeer. 28 off 24, and I, I don't want to say it because New Zealand have done it before. We were still in control, but again, I've seen this happen to our New Zealand side before where we couldn't get it done. So a lot of work still to do, and that's four. That's a good start, but a few dots. Is that six? It's a six. Okay, 17 from 18. It's definitely still under control for now. You don't want to leave it to last over, though. That is outside the line somehow. Fine. Misfield. Four. I mean, can we have a look at this again? I don't know if the fielder was, like, supposed to be there. Because the game, like, tried to engineer it so that it was go for four. Does anyone else see that? Like, he's just gone, whoop. And it's just given four runs. Not even a misfield. Like, game. Look at him. He's got it in his hands, and he's just gone, boop. It's gone backwards somehow. Anyway, it's gone for four. That's an interesting uh, mechanic there. All right, we're going to get Vandermeer to have a big go. Doesn't need to. He gets an edge. Ackerman gets it for four. Three to win. Oh, God. Three to win off six. This is where we go ball by ball, guys. I don't want any more of that stuff happening. Oh, no. <laughs> Vandermeer goes trying to slog it out the park. Glover next in. Oh, it's a dot. Three off four. Three off three. You wouldn't believe it. Glover, mate. Bat on ball. He's gone. Three off two. Edged one. Okay, Ackerman. You need a run. You need one run. He's hit it for six. Netherlands have done it. <laughs> Would you believe it? Oh my goodness me. The choke of the century. Glover. Josh Davey bowled a perfect last over. But it does not matter because Colin Ackerman, the man of the moment, hits it for six. He'll raise his arms in the air. Netherlands will storm onto the field because the Netherlands have won by two wickets against Scotland, despite Callum McCloyd getting 87 not out of 67, and Munzee getting 72 of 48, Max O'Dowd gets 53 of 32, and is the player of the match. Would you believe it? The Netherlands beat Scotland by two wickets. Bangladesh beat Namibia by 24 runs, meaning we are second on the table, guys. What a good start to the tournament that is for us, because... If we lost that game, we would have meant it would have meant that we were third. And now we only just need to beat one more team, and I think we are through to the Super 12. Who are we up against next? We are up against Bangladesh next. So we don't expect this game to be a win because Bangladesh are obviously one of the top sort of sides. Uh, I mean, like they're down here, guys, with us. But at the end of the day, they are indeed a Test playing nation, and Netherlands is not. So. Obviously, we don't expect to win. We actually did get a couple of achievements, guys. We actually got win with a four or six off the last ball. And I think we won a match with the Associates. Win a match with an Associate, guys. We got that achievement as well. You have won a match playing as one of Netherlands, Oman, Scotland, Hong Kong, or UAE. And apparently, if I look at the global achievement stats, only 1.7% of the world, guys who have played this game, or of all the people who have played this game, have got this achievement, win a match with an associate, guys. 1.7% of the Cricket Captain 2020 population have done that, guys. So, that is an amazing start to the career mode, guys. 
but we've still got a long way to go because we our next achievement is going to be next episode because we're going to try and beat any test side with an associate which is indeed beating a test nation with one of New netherlands oman scotland hong kong or uae which is of course can be done in the next episode should we beat bangladesh guys but that is going to be it for today's episode guys so if you did enjoy then please make sure you leave a like subscribe for more content such as this guys don't forget to follow me on my social medias down below especially on twitter i tweet out a lot guys and let me know your thoughts down in the comments guys on this brand new series on the channel guys i've been excited to get this started we start with an absolute thriller in the first game guys I really think this is going to be a fun career mode, and uh, it should be interesting to see if we can actually get it done, guys. But that is going to be it for, from me, guys. Please make sure you like and subscribe. Other than that, guys, I will see you all in the next episode, guys. Good. Bye for now.